a sound of danger and also a sound of a reminder for thousands of Ukrainians to leave their country as soon as possible. For these people, the world has one direction now, the West, where they make their way to find shelter beyond the Ukrainian frontiers. We don't want like, to be running from country to country and asking for support, but support is really needed this time. According to the UN Refugee Agency, nearly 150,000 people have so far fled Ukraine into Poland and other neighboring countries. The number could ultimately grow to one and even five million of a population of 44 million who might try to leave their country in the coming weeks. Travel is very hard, of course, a lot of cars, a lot of buses, traffic jam. And then uh, a big price to get here. And I think, I hope two, maybe three hours and they will come here. I think I will cry. <laughs> Arriving at the Polish border, Ukrainian refugees were warmly welcomed and a working group was set up to ensure refugees have access to basic infrastructure, means of transport, education and medical help. In Berlin, the first dozen displaced people fleeing the conflict in Ukraine arrived in Germany as they expect the government to decide on a simplified asylum process for Ukrainians. Actually, I spoke with my parents before I left Ukraine and they said, uh, like, uh, we are, we are, was born here, we live here all our life and we just don't want to leave our country. For now, Central Europe is welcoming Ukrainians with open arms, but the primary receiving countries don't have the capacity to meet those needs on a large scale and on a prolonged basis.